Song of Solomon, Chapter 4. The Bridegroom. Describing his bride. So if you want to know what you look like, here's the picture. Behold, thou art fair. Not what we look like today, my love. Behold, thou art fair. Verily, verily. Thou hast dove eyes with thy locks, the hair. Thy hair is as a flock of goats, black, that appear from Mount Gilead. That's a pasture land. And Gilead, you can find in Genesis 31, 47. Again, if you know, if you study the, the areas and places in the Bible, you can get more from knowing about places in the Bible by what the Bible says. And study what the land looks like. Thy teeth are like a flock of sheep, white, that are even shorn, which came up from the washing, washing or brushing. So I guess you can say brushing your teeth is in the Bible. Whereof every one bear twins, uniform match, and none is barren among them. There's no gaps. Full set of teeth in the mouth of the bride. And they're all even. And if you were to look, look in my mouth, you'd say, you don't fit that description at all. I don't. One day I will. It is natural to have a full set of teeth, even, white. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Joshua 2.18. Thread of scarlet, it would save uh, Rahab and her family. Red. Thin. Thread is thin. Didn't say a rope. Didn't say yarn, it said a thread. Look at a thread. So we're going to have thin lips. Red. And thy speech is comely. Ain't stupid, ain't foolish. It's right, it's proper. Thy temples are like a piece of pomegranate. Reddish skin, pulp is deep red to purple. With thy locks. That's our hair. Thy neck is like the Tower of David, builded for an armory, whereon there hang a thousand bucklers, all shields of mighty men. Its strength and strength of power of fortress. Now why our necks would be likened to bucklers and, and shields, but yet the shield of faith. That's all I can say about that. Thy two breasts are like two young rows that are twins. Uniform like the twins of the, the teeth. Same. Like to each other. Which feed. Now here's an interesting thing. Now I don't know what the breast would be likened to the robes. But I do notice something here. Which feed among the lilies. The robe. It does not say feed the, li the lilies. It doesn't say feed on the lily. Now, when I when I did today's Second uh, John, we looked at a word that if you were to add one letter to of and make it off, that is a big difference about the crown of glory. It says among the lily, the lily. Excuse me. Now go back to chapter two, verse two. As the lily among the thorns. The lily is the Lord Jesus Christ. 
You don't, can I say it? You don't eat Jesus. You eat amongst Jesus. You don't eat his body. You sit at the table and partake of his body. Look at that. There's the Roman Catholic Church being refuted in the Bible. I don't eat Jesus. I eat a type of his body. I thought that was quite interesting. Unto the day could break. Ugh, what did I say? Into the day break. Second advent. And the shadows flee away. Shadow of death for the nation of Israel again. You ever wonder in the millennium? You know in New Jerusalem there, there's no night. There's no darkness. There's no shadow. Do you realize in New Jerusalem you could put yourself in a cardboard box and have someone seal it up and wrap it up with wrapping paper and stick it inside of a safe and lock the safe and you'll still see the light of God? In the millennium, will there be shadows? There's no shadows in New Jerusalem. No darkness. Just a thought. I will get me to the mountains of myrrh and to the to the hill of frankincense. Psalms 45, 6 or 8. Spices. I think that's what the what, that was brought to Jesus when he was about two years old. With gold, I believe. So it has to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. So instead of the gifts being brought to Jesus, Jesus goes to the myrrh and the frankincense. Uh oh. You didn't hear about that when the, the, the wise men come. Comes to him when he's two years old, and the second advent, he goes to that. Thou art fair, my love. You got a freckle. You got a mole. You got a dimple. You got anything that marks your skin, your body? Is, it, is there a spot on your body that you know that's marked? And yet, we the bride, there is no spot in me. You know the Bible says that after the resurrection, Thomas beheld the, the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ, the hole, and the hole that was in his in his side, and the holes that were in his feet. And yet the Bible says about the bride, she has no spot. All because of us. Ephesians 5.27 and Revelation 19.7. Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse. With me from Lebanon. We'll be following the Lord Jesus Christ upon horseback. He'd be picking up the Jews. What about Lebanon? Look from the top of Amana. From the top of Shinar and Hermon, north. From the lion's. Den, I believe that word is all crossed out in my Bible. And from the mountains of the lepers. Is the Ethiopian you know, leopard chains its spots? You got the Antichrist, two animals there. Satan is a lion, and the integrated leopard has all the races of Shem, Ham, and Jacob. Lord speaks about us, thou hast ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse, Adam and Eve also, 1 Corinthians 9, 5, Leviticus 18, 18, the communion. Thou hast ravished my heart, verily, verily, with one of thy eyes. I got Matthew 6.22 and Luke 11.34. With one chain of thy neck. Chain of authority. Joseph was given a chain. 
How fair is thy love, my sister, my spouse? Matthew 22, 37. How much better is thy love than wine? Gee, we read about that. The Lord would rather have our love than wine. And the smell of thy ointments than all spices. And you know what you call that in, in today? You call it all spice. Ah, right over the Bible. Thy lips, O oh my spouse, drop as the honeycomb, sweet, natural sweetener. Honey and milk are under thy tongue. We've got an unsaved tongue today, James said. We, you know, we bless the Lord and we curse people. We ought not to be doing that. We're going to have a honey and, and, and a sweetness and, and nourishment of milk under our tongues when we get our new bodies. Like into the land of Israel, milk of honey, milk of, the land of milk and honey. And the smell of thy garments is like the smell of Lebanon. I don't know what Lebanon smells like, but cedars come from there. A garden. He likens us to a garden. We're supposed to be fruitful. We're supposed to produce the fruit or show the fruit of the Spirit. It's not soul winning. Our conduct should be the fruit of the Spirit. Encloses my sister, my spouse. He keeps saying, my sister, my spouse. So, what's the Roman Catholic to do? They take their nuns and they call them sisters. See how they perverted the Bible? A spring shut up. A fountain sealed. No one else but the bride. No one else can the bride give but through her groom. There's coming a day that only the Lord Jesus Christ will have an intimate love with us. The bride. No more Satan coming in. No more wickedness. No more evil. Thy plants are an orchard of pomegranates with present fruits, campfire, and spikenard. There are nine fruits mentioned here, the bride. Guess how many fruits there are of the Spirit? That'd be an interesting study. Spicknard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh and aloe, with all the chief spices. He's describing us. That's us. Wouldn't that be great to have come out of a pulpit to describe what we're going to be? Yeah, I've never heard a message from Psalm and Solomon chapter 4. A fountain of garden. A well of living waters. And streams from Lebanon. You need water to survive. You know, in, in New Jerusalem, there's a, there's a river. On either side of the river, there's a tree. Quite interesting. Awake! The bride speaks. Doesn't it seem like the Lord's asleep? It's been so long. O north wind, and come thou south. Go into the wind. Why? Did you, did you read what Jesus said about the wind in John chapter 3, going to the new birth in the Holy Spirit? Have you studied your Bible? Have you studied to show thyself approved unto God, a man that needs not to be shamed, rightly dividing the word of the truth, that you can run this verse back to John chapter 3 when the wind speaking about the Spirit and says, Blow upon my garden. I'm the garden. I've got fruits. That the spices thereof may flow out. Why? So others will come. Our conduct, our life is to bring others to the gardens where the Lord Jesus Christ is. 
We're to bring people to Jesus. Song of Solomon. That the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved Lord Jesus Christ. Now if you don't get this reference. You haven't read your Bible. Let my beloved come into his garden. Who did Mary think Jesus was? Who was Adam? Now how about this one? You want to take this literal? And eat his pleasant fruit. Imagine the Lord Jesus Christ coming down and chopping Christians in half and having them for dinner. Hey, famous for fucking up. I don't think make this to be a Christian. Num, 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 num. That's where Jesus Christ is eating the, <clears throat> the bride. That'd be the kind of thing, you know, have the bride eat Jesus and, and Jesus eat the bride. But <clears throat> where'd everybody go? They self digest themselves. Why is it we got to take eating Jesus' body literal, but we can't take. Today, before church, we're going to call Deacon Smith up and we're going to chop him up in little pieces. We're going to have him for the Lord's Supper. Oh, what? It says right here, let him eat of his pleasant fruits. We're the fruits. <laughs> See how crazy you can get? And yet the Lord Jesus sa said to Peter, come and dine. They didn't chop Jesus up then. They had fish. Our fellowship with God would be likened to it's the marriage of the Lamb. Right after the marriage of the Lamb, what, do you, what usually happens after a marriage? You usually pick up from, from where you got married, usually a church. You pick up and you go somewhere else and you have the reception. And at that reception, there's a meal. But the most important thing of the entire reception is the groom and the bride. They are the center. And then, the honeymoon, <coughs> thousand year honeymoon, and then he takes us home to New Jerusalem, a place where I have prepared thee a mansion. How do you like that? Solomon, Solomon, great. The Lord is great. <laughs>